Okay, so the gradient tool and the bucket tool, these are both use, very useful tools. Um, so on my tool window, it is the 12th tool down right below the eraser. Uh, your configuration may look different than this. This is my personal configuration, so this is the way I like to have my tools. But anyway, yours may be a little bit different. Um, G, of course, on the, the keyboard is the gradient tool if I hit G. And if I hit Shift and G, it's going to cycle through the other tools there. So, as I was saying, the gradient is very useful. There's a lot of things you can do with the gradient. You can apply shadows to things. You can uh, do a gradient mask where something fades into something else. And I'll, I'll put a video up about that uh, that you can watch later on. It's a little bit more uh, advanced technique. So, essentially, what you do is you pick a color that you want to use, and then you can either have that color go to black, have that color go to transparent, or you can choose from one of these many uh, gradients that are already pre-made for you. You can also create your own gradient. So, the gradient tool, you just click and drag, and depending upon the gradient that you have selected right now, I have a linear gradient selected. If I click and drag, my gradient is going to go from where I started, it's going to be the color, to where I end, it's going to be transparent. So, see, this is how it works. Now, however, I don't like doing my gradients on my original image. I will create a new layer, and I will create my gradient on that. That way, if I want to move it, say, behind my image, I could do that instead of having it in front of it. So there's a lot of ways that you can use gradients. Uh, you can use them to apply a shadow to a, an area that's already existing in a photo. And again, I'll show you some of these more uh, uh, complicated techniques later on in different videos. This is just an overview of how the tool works. So if you want to make your own gradient, all you have to do is click on this right here and it's going to bring up the gradient menu. I just come over here and I click on this little box. I choose the color that I want. Let's say I want a blue to transparent gradient. Hey, let's say I want to have red. It go blue, red, transparent. So I just click here. It's going to add another box. And then now it's going to go from blue to red. Let me make it 100% red. There we go. To transparent. And I can adjust the amount of color by moving this slider. So there we go, and like that. Now, if I save this, I'm going to call it blue, red, trans, and I'm going to click OK. So it's going to save my gradient forever. I'll, I can, if I go back up here and look, yeah, so here's my uh, gradient that I've created, you know, right here. And I can click and drag, and it's going to apply my gradient. So. Again, there's a lot of things that you can do with gradients. Uh, on the next tool, we have the paint bucket tool, and it does this. It just fills area areas with solid color. That's what the paint bucket does, and that's what it is used for. So you can also switch between a pattern and uh, the foreground color. So if you wanted to fill with a pattern, you could select pattern right there and select the pattern and click, and it's going to fill with a pattern. Uh, again, let's take a look at the next tool, which is the 3D Material Drop tool, which we will not be using until we do 3D Material Rendering, which is going to be later on in the year. So you don't need to worry about that tool right now.